Good morning, I'm Keith McKinnon. Welcome to a special episode of Masonic Curious. In today's episode is pennies on the veterans' graves. Now, a number of us Masons from Cambridge, from the various Cambridge Masonic bodies, have been meeting at this cemetery, which is located here. Uh, it's the Cambridge Cemetery in Cambridge, Massachusetts. And we have been meeting here for 10 years now, uh, roughly about this part of the year. And we place a penny on every single one of these veterans' graves that are behind me. Now, there are thousands of men and women that are buried behind me. And we place a penny on each of these graves as a remembrance or a honor of our veterans that have served in the armed forces of the United States. Now, we've been doing this for 10 years. Uh, in 2014, works for Luciano, who is also running the equipment today, so we want to put a uh, Masonic Curators thank you all for him for that, uh, produced a short video on coins on the graves. And hopefully we'll have a link to that video on the end of this episode. But since that time he has posted that video, it has had over 640,000 views. Now, there are a number of good videos on YouTube right now that explain this program. And if you want more information, I highly suggest that you watch one of these videos. It talks about who does it, what the coins mean, uh, and why people put pennies or coins on these graves as a gesture of kindness or remembrance. Now we start the day off, far off to our left, back of the cemetery of a small hill, which is the Civil War Veterans uh, Monument. And there we place a few hundred pennies on the veterans that are in that section, as well as spreading out and hitting any veteran that we be buried in that section. And we place thousands of pennies. I believe today we will do close to or over 4,000 pennies on these graves. And these men and women date from the Civil War, Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the Gulf, both wartime and peacetime. Now, for some of us, or for all of us, it's a special day because we get to spend a Sunday morning with our brother. We usually do it at this time of the year, uh, either the Sunday before or the Sunday right after Veterans Day. Today is Sunday, November the 12th. Yesterday was the 11th month, the 11th day, the 11th hour, the day we set aside here in the United States to honor one of our veterans from the armed forces of the United States of America. Uh, we meet here around Veterans Day because uh, instead of Memorial Day, this area is being prepped by the city of Cambridge for the Memorial Day services. So we like to come here on Veterans Day to do it. It's special for us because we get to spend some time with our Masonic brethren, have a cold Sunday morning. Uh, we get to place a penny on the graves of our veterans, say so thank you. We, it's also a history lesson for us too because as we place the pennies on these graves, we read the names, we look at the religions, we look at the dates, perhaps what branch of the service uh, these men and women served in. Uh, we also look at what units, companies, and specialties that these men and women did for the service of our country. It's also kind of special for a few of us because with us today uh, is the Worshipful Master of Mount Olivet Lodge, who is also a United States Navy veteran. Also, the Masonic brother who is joining us today is a retired United States Army Major. One of the past masters of one of the lodges, his great-great-grandfather is buried here, a veteran of the Civil War, as well as his father, who is a veteran of World War II and Korea. We also have a member of the Watertown Rotary Club, who is here helping today place a penny. And my uncle is one of the many of thousands that are buried behind me in the sea of headstones. So we've been doing this now for a number of years, year after year, and it's become a large tradition. Now, there are thousands more veterans that are buried throughout this entire summit. Sadly, we cannot get to them all today. It would take us weeks, months,
Now, I don't mean to put it this way, and my apologies if I may offend anyone, but these men and women who are behind me, they are the lucky ones because they get visited twice a year. Once at Memorial Day to have a flag put on their grave, and once when we come by to put a penny on their grave. Now, for the rest of the veterans out there, you know, some of them are forgotten, and we should not forget any veteran. Now, this may be a good program, perhaps for your Masonic Lodge to take up, uh, perhaps the brethren of your lodge or building, or even your district may want to join together on a some, some, some Sunday morning, and it can be done any time of the year, to place a penny on the graves of our veterans. It's not that hard to do. Need a few good dedicated men who will come out in any of the weather, a bag full of pennies, a couple of hours to spend, and afterwards, like some of these brethren will do, they'll go and have breakfast afterwards. What better way to spend a Sunday morning I'm with your brother, paying respect to our veterans, and then perhaps having breakfast together? Now, you may be saying, some of you right now, Keith, what has this got to do with Freemason? It's a Nice program, thank you and your brothers for doing this, but this channel is Masonic Curie. This shouldn't be talking about something like Masonic history or Masonic artifact. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because remember earlier, a few seconds ago, I mentioned we start the day off far to our left in the veterans, uh, Civil War veterans section. That gives me a time to visit a friend of mine, William Strafferopoulos. Bill was a World War II veteran but Bill was also a member of the Masonic Fraternity. Bill was a 50-year veteran of Charity Lodge and served for over 25 years as Tyler of that lodge. So today, it was my honor to place a penny on this World War II veteran's grave as well as our brother and my friend. But any one, any number of these men that are buried behind me or in front of me or those that are off to my left out of the frame of the camera, there were hundreds more. Any one of them could have been a member of the craft. Any one of these ladies that are buried here could have been a member of the Easter Star. So today we are not only honoring a veteran, but we could be playing, paying our respect to a member of the Masonic fraternity. So cemeteries like this are in every single town, city, and county here in the United States. So perhaps this is a program that your Masonic Lodge might wish to do on a Sunday morning. Now, the other main point of this video, as I mentioned earlier, these graves here only get visited twice a year. And I know for a fact that some of these do not get visited during the rest of the year. What about the thousands of other veterans that are buried throughout the cemetery and cemeteries just like this in the United States? Many veterans go forgotten. Now, I love cemeteries. I have since I was a kid, but one thing that saddens me when I visit a cemetery is to see a grave site that has been forgotten. So if your lodge can't muster up enough of men to do this program here, putting pennies on the grave, then how about this? You, Mason, or even the non-Mason who's watching this video, perhaps adopt a veteran's grave. It's not that hard to do, it costs very little money, and takes very little time. All you have to do is go to your uh, local uh, cemetery, find a veteran, see whether or not they have been visited. Um, if not, adopt his or her grave. The cost is little, an American flag, a flower, and a penny. Time takes 15 minutes. 15 minutes by the time you get to the cemetery, you drive in, you find the grave, you place the flag, flower if you want and the penny give a few moments of remembrance maybe clean off his his or her grave that's it 15 minutes out of your entire year 15 minutes for a veteran so think about that as well so on behalf of us all who are here gathered today placing pennies on our veterans graves and on behalf of the entire crew of masonic curators of which a few of our brethren are veterans, so I want to thank our brothers for that. To the men and women uh, who have served in the armed forces of the United States of America, uh, in, in whatever branch that you may have served in, we salute you. We thank you for your service. You are not forgotten. For the 
millions of families out there, the Gold Star families, whose sons and daughters gave the ultimate sacrifice from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. For the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of families out there whose sons and daughters were either wounded in action or came down with some other illness attributed to their service to this country, we thank you for their service. And for the millions and millions and millions of families, just like mine, whose family members stepped up and put on the uniform of any and all of the branches of our armed forces, from the United States Merchant Marines to the United States Coast Guard, from the United States Air Force to the United States Army, from the United States Marine Corps to the United States Navy. We thank you for your service. We thank you for their service. And please, if you can, uh, share this video with your Facebook page or your website page. We would like to have more Masonic Brethren see this program and perhaps pick it up and maybe spread this type of program throughout the United States about putting a penny on a veteran's grave and if not, maybe adopting a veteran's grave. So think about doing this year after year. It's become a tradition for us here at Cambridge. Uh, we want to thank you so very much for watching and please remember our veteran. Thank you.